Yo guys, what up? V Designs here, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool Photoshop tutorial on how to make custom cuts into your YouTube layout when you're designing it. And uh, if you get pretty creative with it, uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So what I'm basically going to be showing you is how to people people uh, a lot of people add a tab effect into your into the boxes and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how. All right. So first of all, you're going to want to grab your rectangle tool and just uh, draw over the box that you're going to cut out cut out onto and I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can but for the tutorial um, it's not going to be perfect just for demonstrative purposes alright that looks pretty good and uh, go to you're going to want to rasterize the layer and here's the key once you're done doing that go to edit transform and distort and now this is going to give you the capabilities to move the rectangle around to make slices into it so what I'm just going to do is just move it to the right to add a uh, to add a tab effect into it and just like that I'm gonna leave it alright so once I have that done I'm gonna wanna go into the layer where I actually have the box with the layer that is the box and uh, before you do that just hold control and click on the preview screen of the layer of the rectangle layer you just made that's gonna select it all and now while still on your rectangle delete so press backspace and now that's gonna cut into the to the box underneath. All right, so now you can uncheck, unselect your rectangle and uncheck it. And there you go. Just like that, it made a cut into it. Now um, I'm just going to erase a couple parts because, as you can see, it didn't fully didn't fully work because I was rushing kind of for this tutorial. All right, and I'm going to show you another way you can use this as well. A lot of people on the top bar of their template, they normally make a uh, they make a cut into it like that and I'm going to show you how it's using the same effect as well alright so you're going to want to do the same thing you're going to want to grab your rectangle tool and drag it over the box try to line it up as the best as you, best as you can you know I'm sure when you're actually making it you're going to want to take your time alright I'm just going to try to well that's a little that's really too high alright so I'm just going to rasterize the layer and unselect it I'm just going to zoom in and uh... well I'm going to try to line it up Alright, once that's done, doing the same thing, go into edit, transform, and distort, and I'm just going to drag the top corners over, just like that, and that's what's going to give it that really cool effect to it. Alright, so once you're done, select the whole image, go down into the layer where the bottom um, box is for your background, there's mine, I'm just going to press delete, and I'm going to cut out what I just made onto the bottom layer. And as you can see, just like that, um, it's pretty simple to do, and uh, it gives you a really cool effect. Like once you're done doing that or whatever, you can put, you can take the uh, text bar or whatever, and right on here, like if this was your sub um, subscriber module or whatever, you know, you can write something on it, like uh, you know, I guess subscribe. <laughs> That'd be a uh, easiest thing to do. You know, anything like that. Just have fun with it and. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see this, so uh, there you go. If you have any more tutorials you want to see or Photoshop stuff, let me know. See you guys later.